Hey there, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting. And in this video, I'm going to show you what are full charts in Excel and PowerPoint. You used to have to manually do these with a lot of steps or custom add ins. But since 2016, they've been built in. So let's have a look at how it works and what the use of a waterfall chart is. So here we've got our Excel data uh, where we've got, say, the 2018 profit and the 2019 profit. And we want to see what happens from one point to another. Now, this is the most common use of a waterfall chart where you want to account for the differences. So as you can see, well, let me build in the chart and then we'll see it explained through the chart. So I'm going to go to insert, choose this and waterfall there. And we're not quite done. One very, very important thing to do for waterfall charts is to uh, right click or click there till it's the only one selected, then right click and choose set as total. I'm going to do that for the end and also for the beginning. Uh, let's get rid of some of the clutter, like these grid lines, and this axis and this title. Click on it and press delete. That's all I'm doing to get rid of them. And as you can see, we're seeing the story of what happened. So this is where we started. Then we went up, increase from new products, increase from price increase. And then we went down for these two categories. So outsourcing costs. So we decided to outsource our marketing department, which meant we have fewer salaries, but we have outsourcing as well. And you would hope that we're actually saving money like we are here. <laughs> Finally, we have another one, which in this case is back up. So it is getting us to our final point of three, four, five. So this kind of chart is the only way to show negatives as well as positives. This kind of thing would not really be possible with a normal bar chart. So I really like it for that. Um, like normal charts, you have different style options there. Uh, strangely enough, there's no green increase, red decrease version with the standard, but you can sort of manually do it if you want. Um, and like all the 2016 plus new charts, this does not work as a pivot chart only from your raw data. But in any case, you wouldn't really create a pivot table on this kind of data, so it's kind of okay. Uh, just to, to close off two other kinds of waterfall charts that you might find. So here we have with subtotals. So as you can see, we have Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and what the changes are, income change, cost change, some are up, some are down, and then we get to the next number there. That's another reasonably common kind of waterfall chart use. And then the last one is this one here, which is just a breakdown. So here you could use a regular bar chart, but it also has the total and shows you where one ends and the other begins. Um, I don't find this that useful. It could be used for PL accounts quite often, but I find a bar chart is almost as useful for this case. The one that is the most useful is a from point A to point B. Great, so that is the new waterfall chart in Excel and PowerPoint, and I have some more videos if you wanna see them as well. All right, thanks for watching.